Okay, in learning to uh, do auto rotations, your first step is to do them from the hover about eye level. So bring the heli up to high level, notice the pitch stick on the radio is in the hover position, three quarter, and then you hit the hold switch. Get stable in the hover and hit the hold switch. You'll watch the pitch stick go all the way forward to maximum pitch to set the heli down easy. Practice that a few times. You notice I clicked it out of hold with too much pitch and I pirouetted. So you want to be careful doing that. Again, keep practicing, eye level, watch the pitch stick. You'll hit the hold high level. Use the pitch to set the bird down easy. So this is how you learn. Now, as you want to start to go higher, watch the pitch stick. When you hit the switch, you'll want to get off of any pitch so you don't burn it up at a high level. So as you keep practicing higher and higher, watch the pitch. When the hold is hit, goes basically zero pitch, and then punch the pitch when you get close to the ground to set the bird down easy. The higher you go, the more you'll need to go into negative to keep the head speed up. Uh, but that's basically beginning to learn autos. Try it a little higher each time and then from that position and uh, go ahead and feed in the pitch to set it down easy. So that's how you start out learning autos. Okay, the next step to doing autos is doing them from high up in a forward flight condition. Now in the simulator I like to pick a patch of sky that's familiar so I get my angle down and you'll see as I go up you'll see I pick a patch of sky that looks familiar uh, because the simulator doesn't let you see the ground in your peripheral, so you got to angle it in right. So I pick that dark blue patch, get a little bit into forward flight, hit the hold. Now what you want to do is be into the negative. Watch the, the pitch stick as I feed negative to keep the head speed up. Flare and add pitch. You can set her down right nice and easy. So keep practicing that on the simulator. My opinion, the best bet is to be able to do this and land in front of you on the simulator every single time before you do it in real life. This will ensure your accuracy when placing the heli down. So again, look for that blue patch in the sky. Uh, that gets you familiar with where you'll be landing and hit the hold. You can actually steer it in a little bit, but again, watch the negative pitch. I'm way down, bringing it down fast. A lot of head speed, flare and go ahead and set it down. Now in that case I flared a little too much but I was able to get it down uh, safely anyway. If the head speed's high on the auto you get a little bit more maneuverability.